Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Now here today we are going to challenge Gym Leader Misty. Before we do that, let me show you the level ups. Ali's level 24, Flammy's 23, and Dracula's also level 23. But before we take on Misty, let's do something real quick. Never really ever use rare candies, but because Dracula tried to evolve while I was training it, I decided, well let me show it off here, and it was best if I just did it like this. Read that rare candy, Dracula was ele elevated to level 24. Now here we go, Dracula is evolving. Waiting for this, not really for a long time, it's only been like two episodes and that's it. Let's see what it's evolving into. It looks like a bigger, maybe this one actually has eyes? And it does. So it, it evolved and got some eyes. Some better wings too. Oh, did it get legs too? Congratulations, your Dracula evolved into Golbat. Alright, now with that, we are going to take on Gym Leader Misty. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What's your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water type Pokemon. Kind of kind of reminds me of myself. You know, all-out offensive with the water type Pokemon and everything. It's funny, is I, I've actually almost always chose the water type. Kanto, I've chose Squirtle. Johto, I've chose Totodile. Hoenn, I've chose Mudkip. Oh, nice, we got a crit and just knocked it out straight off. In Hoenn, I've chosen Mud Mudkip. In Sinnoh, I've chosen Piplup. But when we get to, um, jeez, when we get to Unova, I actually chose, um, Snivy the first time I played through. But then, second time I actually chose Oshawott. Then when we get to Generation 6 in, ooh, wow, the Kalos region, I chose, um, Oh jeez, these are good amount of damage there. I chose, uh, wow. It evolves into Froggy. Froaky. I chose Froaky. There we go. Oh no, we're confused, and we hurt ourselves in confusion. That's not good. And it's using Recover. Uh, I hope I can hit it with this bite. Yeah. Go back down. It's gonna use this. It flinched. Yes. Come on. Knock it. Ah, oh, we hurt ourselves. I really can't let it knock me out. This is my... No! Okay, we snapped out of... I accidentally used bite there. Pressing A way too fast. Should've been pressing B. Whatever, we 931. Damn, we went like halfway up the level. Player defeated leader Misty. Wow, you're too much. Alright. You can have this the Cascade badge to show you beat me. And we got 2,100 to show that we won. Wow. Cascade mate badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you get in trade. There's more. You can now use cut anytime, even out of battle. We don't even have cut. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. If it's, why are you giving it to us? You just like do that to every trainer? TM03 contains water teaches water pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Wow, that was rough. Almost knocked out my um my Dracula there. Thankfully it, it came through and snapped out of confusion. Whew, that was a that was a real close one. Because you know Flammy wouldn't have been, been able to do anything. She probably would have used recover and stuff. Now, while I was training up, I caught up. I caught the Pokemon from previous routes, as I always do. There was Ekans in Route 4 to the west of Cerulean City, and there was Oddish and Abra to the north in routes 24 and 25. You can find them in both of them. Oddish is only in Fire Red. If you had leaf green you would find bell sprout and also if you have leaf green instead of ekans you would find sand shrew i believe 
So now that we're healed up, let's go through here. This guy, before he was actually blocking the way. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind the most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Wow. There, Jesus, what happened in here? Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Doesn't seem like they're digging. Seems like they just broke through the wall. Those miserable rockets! Look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM teaching a teaching for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Mankey or Sandra. Mankey can learn it. That cost me a bundle. It did. Oh wow! Here's a Team Rocket grunt. I don't really. That wasn't really dig, and it seems like you already had a door here, anyways. <laughs> so let's get at it. Hey, stay out! I'm. It's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? You kinda have a uniform on of Team Rocket, so why would I believe you? Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle and he sends out matchup. Phew, 101 versus Ali, let's go. We'll go for the scratch, fighting type moves won't really do much. Okay, maybe maybe they do. Let's go for a low kick, see how much that does. Wow, decent amount. Focus energy. Trying to get a crit on me. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Scratch it, it's down. 319. He's gonna send out Drowsy, we are gonna send out Dracula. Our new Golbat. Since Drowsy's a psychic, well we can use Astonish, but I'm gonna go for the bite. That that's oh whoa. Astonish would have probably done less and it, look at that, it flinched, so we're good. We didn't even get hurt from that. That's what I was hoping for. We gained 370 and we're almost up to 25. Stop! I give up! I'll leave, I'll leave quietly. Better leave. Okay, I'll return the, the TM I stole. Re receive TM28. I better get moving. Bye! Whoa. Whoa, that was kinda, kinda ninja y. Now we have TM Dig. Uh, sh oh, we can't go over there. We need to cut. Cut a tree. Don't want to jump down that ledge either. Go through here. And take either way. And we're on Route 5. There's grass up there. Now, right here, I believe that was. It's a. It's a daycare for now. Like, this is like the first daycare where you can only leave, like, one Pokemon here. That's what sucks. Alright. Go through here. And, huh? I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh, wait, there. The road's closed. Hmm. That sucks. We can't go through there. So, we're gonna have to go through here. The underground path. Cerulean City to Vermilion City. Hmm. Vermilion City. What does this girl say? Hi, do you have a Nidoran? I believe that's male. Wanna trade it for my Nidoran F? Oh, we can do a trade here. We will actually come back and do that. Rather than... Use that 1%. Ooh, what's this? Da, da, da. I like the music. I, I don't know why I just do. Just run down through here. Go up these stairs. What does she say? People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Ooh, there must be items down there. We'll pick them up later. Go up here. Ooh, item. We found one citrus berries. Oh, citrus berries are much better than orange berries. They were still like 20 or 30 HP. Now if we go up there, we'll probably have the same... you get got the same problem as we did before with the, with the guard. Now let's fight this guy right here. Let's send out Flammy first. Flammy's lowest level. And we have a battle. There we go, we beat him. His his bug type Pokemon weren't really much to uh, let's see if we can talk to these two. Oh uh, yep. I believe we'll be able to battle both of them. So let's let's go. Wow. It's 
surprised he had a squirt. I didn't. I wasn't expecting that. And we have another battle. First time we ever see a trainer with a Pikachu there. And it looks like we have another battle. Let's do that real quick. Finally, someone who actually evolves their Pokemon all the way. There's nothing right here. And it looks like we have two more battles right here. So let's do them both quickly. Now we have another one. Now as you saw there, Flamer grew to level 24 and we're here in Vermilion City. So let me just heal up real quick. Uh, quick. Wow. Alright, since we're here from Brilliant City, uh, kind of earlier than I expected, I guess we'll just explore around while I tell you guys a story. Oh man, today, today was really fun. I actually had my friends over, one of them brought his Xbox and we were playing. And first we played Lego, Lego Star Wars. We had a little one-on-one -on -one battle. It's the first time I ever played it because I don't have an Xbox, so I've never really, really played any Xbox games. So, yeah, we do that. We have a little one-on-one -on -one duel, and it's like first one to like five kills. You just have to kill each other with the. The only thing we could do was just like the Jedi sword. So, we're doing that, and I'm learning how to do stuff. So, it's like what the score goes: he gets one kill, two kills, I get a kill. He gets three, then I get another one, and yeah, I ended up winning. Even though it was just five kills, he had four, and I actually killed him twice. Oh look, we got a nice bike voucher from this guy. Hmm. Take the bike voucher to the bike shop in Ru Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Nice. That means it's free. He has a fear that will fly him anywhere. We could use fly. Anyways, as I was saying, um, so here we were playing that, and I ended up beating him. He had four kills on me, and I just, I had like one heart left, and I just knocked him out. So yeah, then after that, oh, was it trade? I, no. So yeah, after that, we ordered some Domino's to eat. And it was funny, because, usually when we go out, out to, um, to eat, we do, um, like after we play basketball, we go eat, like we go get some pizza, and what we do, we have some soda, but the place where we go, they give us like really small cups, so what we did, we kinda, we usually take shots with those, like soda shots, not drinking shots, we can't drink, so yeah, we do that, oh, what's, shit. yeah, yeah, let's go in here now. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Oh, we flashed it. Yep. Let's go. So yeah, that's... We do... We usually take shots, but this time we didn't have any, like, small cups. So... We just use, like, regular size cups. And our friends was like, oh, let's, let's just put a small amount and just drink as if we were taking shots from that. But, you know... I felt kind of badass, and I filled my cup almost all the way. Oh, jeez! It, it's it's bright, so I I didn't want like Pepsi or anything or Diet Pepsi. I think it was actually Diet Coke. 
so yeah, I didn't, I didn't want that, so I reordered Pepsi. I ate like what, seven or six or seven of the pizzas, and I was about to just uh, just drink my first soda. So I filled it, filled it up like more than, definitely more than halfway. It's like a regular plastic cup. Fill it up right, and I put it up to almost full. And they tell me try to do it in one, just like without stopping, just gulp it down. So I'm like, all right, okay, that's that's not that hard. And I do it like nothing. Then second time I go to drink my drink it, my friends are like, they're. They're just trying to make me laugh so that I can't do it in like one try. And when our friends are trying to record it, I actually try to do it. But halfway through, uh, he, he made me laugh. I, I couldn't. I didn't want to like spit out the soda, so I just put it back down and that's it. I wasn't going to do that. We defeated Gentleman Thomas. And then af after we did that, this is where the fun came in. We started watching um, a movie. Well, just like parts of it, cause YouTube. And so we just you, you turned off the lights so we could watch it. This is my house. We were all alone. My mom was at my sister's house, so we're here. We're gonna watch a movie in the dark. Living room light is off. Hallway light is off. The only light on is the kitchen. And we're watching it in my room, which is like the furthest room away from the kitchen. Of course, we're poisoned. So, you know, try to be. Try to be sneaky. That's what I usually am. So I try to scare my friends. First, I'm just lying there on the floor where my friends can't really see me well. My friend Richard could, he was right right on the edge of my bed, but my friend Jeremy couldn't, he was further away. So I'm just there at the point where you can't see me. Well, he can't. And then, I, since it's all dark after a while, I, I got uncomfortable. I moved back. And my friend Jeremy turns to the side, he's like, whoa, w when did you get there? And I'm like, I've I kind of been here this whole time. And that kind of gave me the idea to start this. I started trying to scare them. So while that was happening, I, I started slowly, slowly but surely, I started moving back. And then from there, I, I slowly stood up while they were watching the movie. And I, uh, I went to my closet. I have one of those um, sliding door closets. My closet was open, so I just, you know, I didn't bother like sliding the door to open it. I just went ahead and just stepped in and stepped to the side. So, you know, I go there, and then I go, I go in, go into the behind the door that's closed, and I sit down in there. You know, there, there's a little shelf on the bottom. I sit there, put the clothes, like the hanging clothes, around me, like to cover me. And I'm wearing, I was wearing black sweats, so you know, since it's dark, you really can't see me. But I opened I open the closet slightly just so I could peek through and watch the movie. And then my friend Jeremy's like, whoa, where'd he go? My friend's looking around, he's like, oh no. But then Richard looks at the closet and he's like, oh, he's in the closet. And they're like, how do you know? Like, I can see it through the peak, uh, through the crack. And I'm like, oh, come on. So, you know, very smart of my friend Richard. But he actually comes and tries to open the closet not a good idea for him he opens it but I'm guessing he wasn't looking down he just looked straight and he saw that I wasn't there so he turns around just slightly turns like turns his head to face Jeremy he's like bro, he's not he, bro he's not there and right when he says that I stick my hand out make a noise and grab like just grab him and I scared him so badly, he, he like jumped a couple feet back to my bed. Oh, after that we just started playing some hide and seek. Oh man, it was funny. 
I, I don't think they ever want to play hide and seek with me again. I kind of scared the crap out of them so many times. Although my friend Richard, my, Richard got me once. I told him to hide. Left my room. It's me and Jeremy trying to find him. So we go, right? Get in. Jeremy's too scared. We go, right? So I get in the room and I'm like, Richard, you want to play a game? And right when I say that, Richard just pops up. Because ha there's like a bunk bed in my room. It's not like one of those high bunk beds. It's like a small one. He was on the top one. And he pops his head up. And he's like, well, he just like says boo or whatever. Whatever to scare me. And I, I jump a little. But it's not like that really like high jump and then I'm about to start running away kind of jump. I just did that kind of little, oh crap, you're right there. I didn't see you there kind of jump. So yeah, I jump, but I, I got scared, but it was funny at the same time, so I was, I was laughing more than I was scared. So I was like, he scared me, I was like, ah! <laughs> I was like, oh Jesus, you, 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 got, you got me there. That was a good one. What do we have here? Super potion. So yeah, he got me there. But then later on, I, in my room we have, um, the curtains, like, I think these are drapes, is what they're called. Yeah, that's what we had. So, yeah, Richard's. When we started doing the hide and seek, it was one person trying to find two people. My friend Jeremy was in the bottom bunk under the covers. And I was hiding on the windowsill behind the drapes. So, you know, Richard comes in the room. Yeah, I can tell you, he was pretty scared. He goes to my bed, and he sees, he looks at the, under the bottom bunk, and he sees someone. Now at that moment, my bed is like right next to the window where I'm at, so he wasn't looking towards me. So I took that moment to jump out and scare him. Oh my god. He got so scared. <laughs> oh man. It, it was just a blast today. If any of you ever want to play hide and seek with me, I I, I don't I don't know hide and seek is kind of kind of scary either way, like if you're hiding or you're seeking, unless you have like a nice hiding place where you get a view of everywhere, then yeah it's, it's okay if you have that. But yeah so oh jeez that was like if you're hiding, maybe the person looking for you can like come out of nowhere and scare you, but if you're looking for someone the person hiding can just like come out of nowhere and scare you because they can know where you are but you might not know where they are so you know it can be scary either way plus I'm, I'm kind of scared of the dark and we, we were actually playing this in the dark too pretty freaking scary and what it was like since it's winter it's like dark so that kind of kind of got us scared too Come on, we can do this. Ah, Flammy's down. Oh, we can heal up on the boat. Uh, after this, we're gonna we're gonna stop right after this. Just because this video is kind of getting long. Uh, all right, shoulders down. That should be the last Pokemon he has. I guess not. He has one more. I'm guessing this is probably like at 25 minutes or something. For me, it's at like 28. But from the speed ups, I'll look, 25. It'll probably be like at yeah, 25. What a coincidence! And we defeated Sailor Duncan. And so I don't get in battle with this guy. Just run up here. And next time, guys, we will continue on from here. And we'll finish the, up the SSN and make our way to Vermilion City gym leader so see you next time guys goodbye